Welcome back everyone, Sweet Peroscars here, I am back in The Witcher 2, and I guess we're gonna go finally finalize this. We're gonna end this, we're gonna find Letho and see what happens next. I think he's coming too. Oh bollocks, the horse son's in agony, won't be long now. Look at that. The cleverest of elven bandits, beaten burnt like ordinary scum. This is the handiwork of some mage. I'd wager my wife on it. You shouldn't have taken that trinket. You know they'll ask what he had on him. And you'll not peep a word. Understand? Hey you, piss off. We've got a dangerous prisoner here. Huh. A prisoner? Did you capture him? None of your concern. Buzz off, freak. Oh, whoa. Any idea what happened to Roach? Yes. Radovid tried to buy him off. I'm sure you can guess Roach turned him down. Some things will never change. Tamaria might not be on the map of the North much longer, but as long as men like Roach are around, there is hope for its reaper. Don't pin that mess on me. I don't intend to. You asked. Oh, I guess that's Yorvith, huh? Can't do anything for him? Can't at least save him or something, no? I'm warning you for the last time. Piss off, I said! I smell a Tamari. Oh, these guys are angry, alright, alright. Just settle down. No need for such violence. Where is Letho? Maybe this way? So close. It's so far away. Nope, not this way. What's this green energy anyway? This green wall. Sort of force field. Ah, uh, are they really... What is that? Are you kidding me? How do I get to Letho? Okay, this is annoying. Why can't they just let me go? You know, it's, just, it's the end of the game and you're still blocking my way. Let's take some of this stuff. That doesn't hurt. Ah, alright, let's try this door. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. Ooh, what's this? This is no place for witches. Though I know you and you appear wherever something important happens. True, though sometimes by accident. And this time, also a coincidence? Let's say I have something to take care of. In that case, hurry. Once we're done cleaning up this mess created by the Royal Soldiery, Loch Muin will be magically sealed. Getting out of here? Temporarily. We shall return soon enough to rebuild the city. Loch Muin will regain its former glory. Until that time, we need to keep the treasure hunters and troublemakers out. So Radovid trusts you? We shall win His Royal Majesty's trust by delivering Sheila de Tanserville and the other traitresses from the Lodge. That could take a while. Sheila's fled Loch Muin via Megascope. We have time. She cannot hide forever. Sooner or later, she will be ours. Forgive me, I must attend to some matters. And don't dawdle. The city will be sealed in one hour. Ooh. Ten, so look at him. Still teleporting out of here. Pretty badass. Uh, we have another door there. Another one there. Uh, I guess there's. Is there, is there even a, a point in collecting stuff anymore? Okay, I can't go through that door. I guess it's this door. Wow, we've uh, finally reached the place. There he is! Oh wait, are we gonna fight? There he is. Wait for me. Geralt. This is between me and him. You don't have to. I do. He knows how I lost my memory. Wait for me at the city gate. If I'm not there within the hour, leave without me. <laughs> okay, intense.
took you a while? Is that bobble from Sheila's megascope? Mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. The one in the megascope has a flaw. Minute. But just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. I let her escape. You're heartless. You've no idea what the royal witch hunters have in store for her. A lot of pain for a long time. I don't doubt it. So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? I suppose my throat's a little dry. In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Wait, he's not drinking. Oh, okay. Better drink. Recovered your memory yet? Not entirely. Remember how we first met? Yeah, I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. The Winter Solstice 1270. Middenvern, the Night of Magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. Oh, <laughs> we are gonna fight. I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Tell me about Yennefer. What happened after I departed? She was feverish for several days. Delirious. In agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Somehow she recovered. But even then she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums. Trying to seduce Ox. Trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. The whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly, or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ark, Sarit, and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. We 
we were separated, and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly, but it was uneventful, no violence. That's how I met Vatya Derrido, and a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. And that's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire. She was when I left. Alright, the Riders of the Hunt, you know where they are? Who did you become? Why did you become an Imperial spy? Why are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me. And I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well, and a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way. But if I have to fight you first, so be it. The story ends here and now. Ooh, okay. How did a witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. The rulers of the North come up to about where his Pauline's end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the School of the Viper. The Witcher's Order where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the South fell into ruin long ago. And witchers themselves became internal exiles, banned from entering most cities. Besides Serret and Ox, I know of two other witchers of the School of the Viper, who should be alive and on the path. I don't know where they are. Haven't seen them for years. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. Alright, last question I guess. How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every Witcher who wears the Viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the Hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big ruse. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No market square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead, enlighten me. I can tell you want to. There are a lot of legends and myths about it. The Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real writers. The writers we ran into by the hanged man's tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world. They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, know the theory. Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. So, elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What did they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. Alright. 
We're almost gonna have to fight him here. Tell me what it was all about. Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another. Pursue their God-given rights. Seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. The North resembles a whorehouse on fire, as your friend Dandelion would say. Ah, oh, what? He didn't explain anything. The North. Okay. How do you find Sheila? How do? You Wow, I guess we can get all of our answers here, but you know what? Let's just finish this. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Want to fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here. the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. Oh man. Uh, Alright, you know, might as well. It's the end of the game. Time to fight. Ready. As I'll ever be. Oh man, he's gonna kill me. You fear death. Oh, look at that. Same strategy as before. Be like to be almost dead. Fight. Oh no, come on. Really? Dude, his signs are so strong. Alright, you know, let's use uh, this thing. Yeah, let's use this. I am running! Waiting for his shield too. Yes, there it is. Hey you, take a knife. Oh, come on, again? At least we have more space to fight it this time. First time was just chaotic. Oh, come on, really? Hey, take a knife. Oh no, he's not taking it. Oh, are you kidding me? Whoa. Alright. There you go. Alright, fine, let's power it here. Oh, come on. I hate when he uses that. <laughs> this is gonna be a long fight. I'm across the way, come on. I'm recovering my vigor. Now. Oh, double? No, I didn't need to do that. Why, why does he always start with that stupid thing? Okay, I'm not attacking you here. Okay, let's use this guy now. Oh, knife!
Knife! That's right. Oh yes, he does. Knife. Of course you can. You tire quickly. I'm tired of talking. Roll. Knife. Oh, that's right. I don't want to kill. Oh yes, you do. You know you do. You're nowhere near my level. Oh come on. Of course not. I'm no Kingslayer. And knife. Stupid shield. Come on. Come on. What you gonna do? Oh man, no. Knife. No, 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 run away. I've had enough of this dance. Goodbye, Geralt. What? Oh, I thought he was going to run away. Oh, shield again. Shield again. Come here. Come here. There you go. And I think you're done. <laughs> yes. That was awesome. Can I loot him? Please let me loot him. The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the Righteous and Scoundrels. 
Bernard Lurito amongst the latter. Lurito sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non-humans to the four winds. Flotsam became a military base. Its civilian population was resettled. In Edern, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragon Slayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edern, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Dark clouds had been gathering over Temeria since Voltest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Fultest's realm, when Radovid of Redania and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. Years before, Geralt of Rivia had witnessed the fall of the council and conclave of mages, the summit in Loch Muin re-established both bodies. Their founder sacrificing Sheila de Tanzerville and her accomplices. Yet Radovid also required humility and loyalty from the proud mages, but this did not sit well with all of them. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we who had in some way shaped the world's fate finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia? All right, so I think that pretty much does it for The Wizard 2, guys. I uh, really enjoyed the game, so I'm definitely going to be playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and I probably be, probably will be posting videos of that as well, so I hope you guys enjoy this series and I hope you guys uh, watch this video as well too to see how the story ends and continues in a way in the new game. So uh, again, I want to thank you all so much for watching, please stay tuned for more videos on my channel and I'll see you guys next time.